In this video, we're going to take a look at some advanced selection techniques. To do this, we're working from selections.jpg, which is found within your project files folder within chapter 11. Now, the first tool I'm going to introduce you to is the magnetic lasso tool. That's found just below the lasso tool within the tool panel. So I'm going to select that now. Now, the way this tool works is it allows me to go around and trace any area I'm trying to select. So if I was to zoom into this image just a little bit by pressing Ctrl and plus, maybe just a couple of times like that, and then find an area and start by clicking and then dragging around the outline, what you'll find is that this magnetic lasso is sticking to those edges. Now, eventually I'm going to get to a point where I've got a really good selection from this lasso. It does take a bit of patience to go around and you'll find when you get to a corner area, you may just want to click once and then resume on your way. What this does is this helps the magnetic lasso to try and isolate a corner or an edge of your selection. So I'm doing this in every corner that I come across, just like this. Now if I want to finish this selection, I'm going to come down to the first point and just click once. And now you can see I've got a very good selection just by tracing the outline using the magnetic lasso tool. Now a couple of options you might want to be aware of is that I had anti-aliasing on. That means wherever I have a radius edge, it's going to be a nice smooth selection. And if you find when you're working on a particular photo that you're not picking up the amount of areas that you really require, you can change the width and also the edge contrast and frequency to give you a better selection edge. Now I might just cut this to a new layer by pressing Ctrl J. If I turn the original background layer off, you can see that's done quite a nice job. I'll turn the background layer back on and I'm going to double click on this layer name here to rename this magnetic lasso. I'll click on the layer here just to accept that. And then I'm going to reselect my background layer. Now we're going to take a look at making a quick selection. Now the quick selection tool is found just below the lasso tools. I'll zoom back out by pressing control zero. And what you'll find using this tool, I can go around and select just by brushing any area I like. Before I start brushing though, I'm going to make sure I have my options set correctly within the options bar. Auto enhance needs to be on by default. This is going to give you the best possible selection edge that's smooth and not jagged and doesn't have any steps at all within that selection edge. So now that I've got that on, if I come down to my artwork and click and drag, what you'll find is that eventually Photoshop elements will snap into position and find just the areas of the sky that I'm trying to select. You can see there I clicked once again and I added to that selection and that's because I had this option here selected within the tool options bar. So as you can see, I've now selected the sky, but really I'm wanting a selection of the church itself. So if I go up to select and choose inverse, now I've selected the church instead of the sky. If I hit control J, that's copied that to its own layer. I'll double click on layer one here and I'll rename that quick selection. I'll click on the layer just to accept that change and that's fine. I'll turn both of these off and I'll go back down to my background layer. And the last tool I want to show you is the selection brush. That's found just beneath the quick selection tool. If I click and hold, you can see the selection brush is available. Now the way this works is this allows me to draw in a selection via painting. So I can adjust my brush size if I need to by clicking on this little arrow here and changing the slider upwards. And you'll see at the moment, the mode that we're drawing is a selection. I could also change that to mask. For now, I'll leave it on selection and I'll show you what result we will get. Also, the hardness is set to 100. So when I draw out with my brush using the selection brush, it's gonna be a nice hard brush. Let me zoom in just a little bit, pressing Control plus a few times. And I'll hit spacebar and drag around the image just to get that in the right area. Now, if I click and drag, you can see I can paint any sort of selection that I like. Now, this tool isn't very accurate, but it can allow you to be more specific when you're trying to do very fine things. You will need a steady hand and you will need a bit of patience as well. And I just wanted to bring your attention to that tool and to show you that it is available. However, you'll find most of all with the quick selection tool, you'll get a really good result. If that doesn't work, you might want to try the magic wand tool. I'm going to zoom back out, pressing control zero. I'll deselect this. I'll turn the background layer off. And there we have a nice cutout photo using the quick selection tool.